This video would explain how to use Cassie Apex 91 ES plus second edition optimally. I'm using the software to explain it. If you would like to download the software in your PC or Mac and don't know how to do that, you can click on the link at the top and uh, it would explain how to download the uh, emulator software. So, this Cassie 91 ES plus second edition is. Uh, quite user friendly uh, let me start solving by some simple calculation let's say you would like to find out the value of log a thousand you just put in the value and uh, the head equals to and it gives you the answer you don't necessarily uh, close the bracket but it is recommended that you make a good practice and close the bracket so that uh, you know you don't get up get into unnecessary trouble when you do some difficult nested calculation, it's very important that you close the parenthesis. Alright, so this was log thousand. What if you would like to change the base currently? It has taken your standard base is 10. So you have a dedicated log button here along with the base. So let's say at this point of time you would like to find out log of thousand to the base 5, it equals to and it gives you. This calculator also gives you an option of quickly changing your, you know, any any entered value. So let's say instead of thousand, you wanted to put in twelve thousand. You can just quickly go back and change the number and hit equals to. Basically, what it does, it uh, it helps you while you're writing a big algebraic expression and by mistake you have done some mistake. You can quickly go back and change the setting. Then let's say you want to do some uh, trigonometrical calculations. So you wanted to find out sine of uh, let's say 45 degree. You just enter sine of 45 and it calculates the value. Right now it is in rational, uh, irrational format. If you would like to put it into decimal, use the button SD to change it into decimal. If you want it to enter angle in radian you can quickly go to settings by pressing shift and mode to go in a setup and then you have a lot many options here i would suggest you go through these options before you get into examination because they are very useful so currently my calculator was in degree that is three i would like to change it to radian number four and when you do the same calculation again, let's say sine of 45, this time it would say sine of 45 radian and the answer is different. So please be very careful whenever you are doing any programmatical calculation. Just check what is the current setting of the calculator. Then let's say you would like to do some calculus. You would like to do some definite integration. You can just quickly select, let's say you will, let, let's take a very simple example of uh, x squared from 5 until 15 you put in the values it gives you this is the best thing about this calculator that it gives you all this template where you can put in the function lower value and upper values and you don't need to remember the syntax and there you go you could quickly find out the exact answer and if you want to convert this into decimal just hit S in SD button and it will convert into decimal format so you have some other functions here those are very basic functions let me take you to mode where you can change so i have talked about composite all these calculations are done in number one i would talk about complex calculation now so let us say you would like to do some complex number calculation so for example 2 plus 3i so i is the button here engineering symbol right so 2 plus 3i and let's say you would like to square it right and it gives you the answer instantaneously so this is just a basic example you would like to do all kind of calculation on complex number and also while you do some quadratic equation please remember to turn on complex mode as well going into settings so that you get complex roots as well okay Besides that, uh, you have statistics number three. So for statistics, I have made an exclusive video. You can click on the link above in the recommendation to check out. But I'll still 
talk about so let's say we would like to do we, we have any options we have one variable statistics and other for regression so let's say i would like to do a, an a plus bx regression so you can put in the values here so let me just quickly take some random values okay and here i'm going to take y values so just taking some random values with an equation in mind obviously right okay it and then again you can push uh, shift and statistics to go to option and you want to do regression push number five and what do you want to find out a value of a value of b value of r etc so let's say i would like to our uh, regression was a x plus v so we would like to find out coefficient of x that is a so that is one here okay let's again go and this time we will we'll find out b and b is 2 so basically it is x plus 2 1 x plus 2 so that is how you do regression here and you can do the basic statistics as well then you have base n calculation you can quickly go to base n right now you are doing some calculation in decimal if you would like to change from decimal to let's say octal you have these four buttons here and this calculator can do calculations in decimal hexadecimal binary and octal push octal and it quickly converts your value to octal and if you do any calculation here it will excuse me it will do in octal system and if you want to change from octal to binary for instance it, it quickly helps you convert number from one number system to another then you have equation that is very much utilized and uh, it gives you uh, three variable linear equation and up to three degree polynomial equation so let's take a uh, let's let's take a quadratic equation number three and let's take one equation like x square minus 6x plus 9 okay so the, here the coefficient of x square coefficient of x in the constant term you put in the values and it gives you the value the first value of x is 3 and then if, if there is any other value it gives you another value as well so let, let's change the value so that we can get some other value as well so i would say 8 okay so my first value x1 is 4 and my second value x2 is 2 so that way you can calculate uh, your multiple values let's go back to mode once again let's see what else is there matrix number six you can do matrix calculation here you can do up to three by three matrix i'll give you an example of doing three by two matrix you can put in the values here let's take some very quickly some random numbers all right so once you're done you hit ac hit shift and go to matrix number four and then you have all the options let's say you wanted to find a determinants of this matrix a you select seven and then again you need to select the matrix so hit shift and matrix again and hit number three to select matrix a close the bracket hit enter and there you go it calculates the determinants of matrix a that is negative six seven eight let's see what else is there in matrix then you have table again for table i made an exclusive video you can click on the suggested link to know more about it but uh, here you you can type in any equations so let's say i type in x square and i would like to find out the value of this function when for given x values let's say from 1 until 10 so for all the 1 till 10 i would like to know the values of when x is 1 fx is 1 fx x is 2 fx is 4 x is 3 fx is 9 and so on this is quite useful and then we have vector calculation here so let's say vector a and we, we have an option of two degree vector or three degree vector so i'll say let's say i'll take two degree vector and you can put in the values here okay 
then you can define the second vector and then you can do some calculation on both these two vectors okay or you can do dot product cross product etc so let's say i want to multiply this vector by two so i'll say shift i'll select my vector that was my vector three i hit equals to and it please calculates so this is how you do vector and this is how you solve all these videos i all these modes or you use all these modes i have uh, made more videos detailed videos on each on these so you can follow my channel and check out the other videos something else that i would like to talk about here is your random integer if you would like to generate random integer or random number you can use these functions here while you are in composite okay so for statistical analysis it gives you random number between 0 to 1 and then you can calculate random integer as well and what else you can solve any equation here itself so let's say uh, you have an equation like 2 times x plus 1 and uh, you would like to find out the value of this okay. and then you can hit calc and you can put in the value of x so let's say the value of x is 1 the 2 times x plus 1 is 3 again you would like to find out let's say the value of x is 10 2 times x plus 1 is 21 and so on and so forth Similarly, you have an option here solve. So let's say you say 2x plus 1 is 15. What is the value of x? Okay, so you'll use solve here, shift and solve, solve for x, and there you go. So the value of x is 7. So you use this little advanced function here. So I hope you, I have given you a brief idea about how do we use 9 yes plus second edition. Uh, please stay subscribed. I'll post some more videos on 9 yes plus. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.